No good. Don't be too hard on yourself, kid. It's a net. Hey, kid. You didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course! You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool, I know that now. But your mother... I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us. Psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son! The whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh, 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 definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aguatos! Traveling thrill-givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad... What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. How's it going? All clear in this area, if that's what you're asking.
Doink. Oh. Hi, Lily. You here to take me into custody? I'm sorry about that note. You don't have to apologize. I'm the one who's sorry. I'm just sensitive because I am guilty. Guilty of what? I'm guilty of being a terrible daughter. I've been a jerk to my dad all year. And now I might never... I might never talk to him again. Why do you feel like you've been a jerk? He made me go to Whispering Rock, even though I thought it was kid stuff. I was mad, and the last thing I said to him was, I never want to follow in your footsteps. Wow. That is bad. I know. That's why I have to fix him. That can't be the last thing I say to him. Anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is something I need. Just name it. There is a very special fungus that only grows in damp parts of the questionable area. Say no more. I'm on it. Thanks, Raz. Hi, Lily. Hey. Who do you think is the mole? I haven't even had time to think about that. All I really want to think about right now is my father. What do you think of these interns? Oh, the new kids? Honestly, I haven't paid too much attention to them. I'm just so focused on my dad right now. Hey, that time we were thinking I was just pretty cool and if you, uh... Sorry, Raz. I can't even make sense of what you're saying. I guess I'm just too preoccupied. So the casino mission was pretty exciting. I'm sure it was, Raz. I'll read the debrief later. But right now, I need to focus on my dad. You'll talk to him again. How can you be so sure, Raz? He's only... He's just recovering. It takes time. But he's not getting better. My psychic senses tell me that something is really wrong with him. I've been reaching out and reaching out, and he's just not there. I'll check in with you later, all right? Don't worry about your dad. He'll be okay. I hope so. Hi, Lily. I'll check in with you later, all right? Don't worry about your dad. He'll be okay. I hope... Looks like this is where Lily comes to work out some of her darker thoughts. Trust me, humans are worse.
came out here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right, a brain for Nick, so I can get in to see. This is amazing! Mm. Coach was trying to throw it out, but I knew it was fixable. With this transmitter, KLOB will finally be on the air. Oh. Oh. Pop. No, KLOB. We enrobe the mother lobe with music. Cool. So where are your records? Well, I only have one right now. What? Hey, you gotta start somewhere. If I find any, I'll bring you more. Say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? Can you tell me what it is first? Sorry, it involves some secret high-tech stuff I'm not at liberty to disclose to the non-committal. Whatever it is, I'm into it. Wow, even more reckless than I thought. Impressive. Here's the issue. My mentor, Otto Mentalis, deployed several psycho seismometers like this one to detect and collect negative psychic residue. Problem is, he kind of forgot about them for a long time. So now they're all overloaded and unstable. I thought, instead of me going around venting all these nasty things and stealing all the glory... You want me to do it? For extra credit, you're welcome. And to free me up for more high-minded engineering work. Okay. Come on, Rep. Wait, you said yes? All right, good man! <laughs> well, if you survive, be sure to report back, okay? Hey guys! Uh, busted! Now we gotta burn this site and find a new base of operations! What? Pirate radio, Gisu! Gotta be ready to bug out in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Relax, Morris. I'm not a narc. Exactly what a narc would say. Do you know where the psycho-isolation chamber is? Ooh, are you trying to steal Lizzie's mentor, Compton Bull? No. So you're happy with Nick from the mailroom? Of course. Everybody loves Nick. So why a radio station, Morris? Shouldn't you be working with Mia? Mia wants me to learn how to reach out into the world. And this is how I'm gonna do it. With radio. Have you... 
told her about this yet? No, I'm waiting until we get back our first ratings report so I can show her how effective it is. Where'd you get the radio? Gisu fixed up Coach's old transmitter and made it more powerful. Just be careful you don't fall asleep on that thing and broadcast your dreams out to the world. Who would ever be dumb enough to do that? Meh. Okay, I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Ha ha. There not be any lake monsters in here. Hard lying around.
just like it. Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. Out of the mother lobe. If anybody has any of Sorry, automobiles only. And apparently, beat up circus caravans. Where's that road go? Just to the highway and the questionable area. Ooh, I've always wanted to go to the questionable area. Oh, that's too bad. The only way to get there on foot is through the old mine, and that's a death trap. Thanks. I probably just saved your life. Let's get back to the music. Here. for thinkerprint. Access granted. <laughs> nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow. Look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry, machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he is unable to tell us where to look for it. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Citanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving things. 
Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun! And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. Voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. Only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. Looks not bad. Not bad at all. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. We hope you don't mind poppins. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? <laughs> How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> What was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh -huh. But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember... much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. 
Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have rain, we'll trap. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Hazing rituals for new agents. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. Since there are some stray thoughts nearby, I should check it out with my thought tube. Shy little thoughts. Ooh, getting closer. Found some thoughts. Thanks, thought tuner. See my oarsman's badge? No? Okay, now how do I turn this on again? See you, Thought Tuner. Straight thoughts around. Yep. 
People might think this thought tuner was dorky, but I think it's cool. Yeah, you don't want to wear something like that for too long. Come with me, the Psy Challenge Marker. Finally! I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! I'm picking up. Okay, let's see if there are any straight thoughts in Hey, did you steal that from my desk? <laughs> thoughts! Straight thoughts! Seen Fort Crawler around here lately? Oh. People 
might think this thought tuning looks dirty, but I think it's cool. What a day. Aha! There are some straight thoughts. Combine your psi cards with a psi core from the automatic. Some brand new items here. Whenever you need more gear, the automatic will be here. Psi cards piling up. Turn them into side challenge markers with a side core from the automatic. <laughs> <laughs> 